Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafty Leaks. I'm on my own again today. Surprise, surprise. So I thought I'd do a little bit of diamond painting. So I have my, this is just a small one, which I thought I'd do with you today. This is my black hat. It's a partial diamond painting. Just excuse that and just tuck it underneath. Um, so, way I recommend that well I'll talk you through this I got this from Aliexpress um, it comes with your tray your sticky bit your picker and your beets so basically if you look close if you look close enough you can see that each square is numbered and where it's numbered will coincide with the number on the pack some have little strips down the side with uh, your codes and things on them, but this one is numbered on the packs. So, to start off with, what you need to do is take out your picker. Excuse me doing this. I still, well, I found one of our tripods, but it's not the phone one, so excuse me for this. there is the tray so you decide which one you're going to start with and I think I'm going to start with the edge ones which would be the number six so find number six and then you cut it off once you've cut it off and taken the end just pour it into the tray I usually recommend having a box um, with little compartments to store these in and I have got one over there somewhere but I'm actually in the middle of doing a bigger diamond painting so my box is actually being used at the moment so we'll just have to make do but I have got some little sealy bags somewhere so I can always seal them up so I mean you can straighten these out before you use them I've placed them under some heavy books or something similar but I usually just Use them as they are. So I'll put a little bit of weight on here. Just stick my scissors there. And then what we need to do is peel this back, but only expose the bit that you're using. And then that way it doesn't detack everywhere else. So you peel the top of the sticky. I always put the sticky in the tray, don't ask me why. And then, place the picker in there. It pulls out a little chunk. And you can see it in the end there. You want to shake them in the tray because you need them with the ridged, the little domed side up. Sometimes these ones come as squares. The one, I'm, the bigger one, I'm working on at the moment. Um, these little beads. These ones are square. So this one is a round one. So it's a bit different for me to work with. And basically, you just keep going. So I shall put you on fast forward, so you don't get too bored.
Touch me in a way that makes me shiver Sometimes I can't believe that you are mine Love's a gonna be beyond my trigger You kiss me in a way that gets me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right Just being around you We could break up and then make up I always come back to you You move me in a way never thought anyone could you Feeling blue, yeah, it's all you. Things when I'm hurting, you always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. You just have your ways to get me high. Yay, it's finished! So here it is in all its finished glory. Let me just put these away. And there it is. There it is. So what do you think? I think it's quite pretty. It's only a little one, not as big as the one I'm doing that's over there, but you know, it's nice to do something for a different for a change. So there we are. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time on Crafty Leaks. Bye. Bye.